for taking the leadership and really addressing coastal challenges in the ways that our communities and businesses experience them on the ground. I um, also want to thank the governor for building disaster resilience as a way of doing business across the breadth of state government. It really has distinguished the way people around the country see the state of Louisiana and as much as we are a model for this work. I want to give special thanks to the Office of Community Development, uh, Pat Forbes and Matt Sanders, who's hiding back here behind uh, the sign, and their, and, their, and their team for partnering with us on, um, at the foundation on LA Safe. Um, as I said before, it is a model for the hard work of keeping communities safe and making them more resilient. And it is relevant across all the 64 parishes, as the governor said, of our state, and relevant nationally and even globally as we work to address the challenges that come from living with war water. I also want to elevate um, all of the elected officials that were mentioned here today. You know, at the Foundation for Louisiana, we've been fortunate to work with literally dozens and hundreds of philanthropy and foundations since Katrina. And what they said is, we are looking to invest in communities and create strategies that we know are going to lead the future and become models for the nation and the world. In part, the resources set forth in the creation of the National Disaster Resilience Competition came from philanthropy, seeing Louisiana's leadership and being able to create those resources with HUD and the public sector to do that. And part of why that worked is because the local leaders, all the folk that were mentioned earlier and those who couldn't be here, really worked with community to move that work. Um, and certainly, the most important um, thank you for the, after, for the morning is our community-based partners and community members. We know our most important asset in Louisiana are our people. They're the ones who show up every day, they do the hard work, they raise their families, they come to meetings after being you know, dead tired to show up, as the governor said, almost 4,000 people, more than 70 meetings, showing up to match technical expertise with lived experience and wisdom, people from every walk of life. And it was the magic of them showing up um, and their input that really made uh, this work. And of course, I want to thank my amazing team at Foundation for Louisiana, Liz and the like. The LA Safe process is illustrated, really, um, in a way that I can't overemphasize, the unique possibilities of a seamless and high-level partnership between the Office of Community Development, Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority, and the Governor's Office of Coastal Activities. Very different offices that found ways to support that work, really in a historic way, included thousands of Louisianans in the learning and planning process. And here today, and over the course of the last year, we all work in the service of Louisiana's people. And you see in these projects, right, although there are, there are 10 projects um, because of local leaders and because of this leadership across these different offices, folk had about the same amount of money to spend, but you can see each community had a chance to develop their own strategies that uniquely worked for them and that worked across the region, knowing that disasters don't observe political lines. It's just amazing. And so we stand here in this moment of opportunity as we have begun to comprehensively and holistically address the challenge of our coast and the effects of land loss and flood risk to our communities and economies, we really have an opportunity to take advantage of this moment. LA Safe has allowed us to begin to maximize our collective talent and responsibilities in a way that significantly improves the lives of our residents and our communities. Um, very quickly, the Foundation for Louisiana for more than 12 years now, starting with our Coastal Fisheries Fund in 2006, all the way to our Coastal Resiliency Leverage Fund, now have had a chance to deeply understand the value of investing in people and practices that actually work to reduce risk and increase resilience across our state. The projects that were just revealed today really are an important step toward a Mississippi Delta that is sustainable, vibrant, and possible within a smaller footprint. This work serves as a reminder that here in Louisiana, we are just one of a number of communities around the world learning how to live with water we sit in a leadership position as it relates to how we do that. Um, and we are, as I said earlier, a reminder for those, a, a model for those across the nation and across the country. So as I close today with a challenge to all of us uh, to really think about what the governor said and reminded us to do, to continue to collaborate and build on the tremendous work of our colleagues, allies, and partners, to really depend on and rely on our people to be our best guide for what the work should be to expand our thinking and ways of working across sectors and disciplines, to scale our work from the local and the regional to the coast
coast and statewide. We really appreciate everything that you've done to make this day possible. And as someone said, the work is just beginning. Take care. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. Governor, thank you for coming and Clozell. Wonderful remarks. And uh, we're going to be here for a little bit with our panels and able to talk about the projects if anybody has questions. And uh, look forward to, to working with all of you as we build these great projects and make Louisiana more resilient than ever. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.